Hello automation and we are lovers welcome back to KT sessions and in this session we are going to see how can we use excel as database in automation anywhere a360 so let's start oh i have this excel file it contains data of some employees so i will read this data using the database action so we use oledb for uh, interacting with excel files or uh, OLEDB for CSV files, for macro files, for text files, etc. And in this uh, tutorial, we are gonna use this Excel file, uh, input data.xls file. We will read the data from this file using uh, OLEDB. First, see what are the advantages of OLEDB. Why do we use this? Uh, so, there are some advantages of OLEDB. Check it. Okay. So when we go to this database package, uh, we are going to use uh, this database package. Uh, first action will be database connect. Okay. In this database connect package, we will uh, use a connection string for connecting with the Excel file. We use connection string in OLEDB or uh, so let me show you a connection string the connection string is nothing it is a, a sequence of instructions uh, which are required for connecting to the excel file because we are gonna use a uh, excel file as a database so we are using a uh, database action or database package in automation anywhere 360 okay let me show you the connection string first uh, this is the connection string which uh, we are going to use in this uh, action this is the connection string which we will use to connect with the excel file so it contains variable the first variable is provider and the value of the provider will be microsoft.ace.oledb.12 because we are using 12 version so uh, if we have added this value the next one next variable is data source so this is the uh, path of the input file which we are going to use uh, for reading or writing the data the excel file or the csv file whatever file you are going to use so this variable will contain the path of that file extended properties so we are using this uh, variable extended properties and hdr refers for header means the file contains header or not so our file contains header uh, this is the header so we have given the value of header yes and read only is equal to zero because uh, we are going to write the data as well so we have added read zero uh, read only is equal to zero means it is uh, no zero refers to the no or uh, off so read only is off okay so we are providing these values as a connection string you can see this is the connection string and that's it and we have given a session name for this uh, database session and the connection mode will be the default now when we go to the database uh, we will use another action okay so we can either read the data or write into the excel file and uh, after uh, after performing our all the operations we can disconnect the data so if we want to make any change we can uh, write the data or oh, sorry we can read the data then we can make changes and we can uh, insert the data back into the table so if you do if you are not aware of uh, sql then uh, uh, i will uh, show you this query so we use this query for selecting the data from for reading the data from any database because we are using uh, excel as a database so we are using sql queries and uh, for reading the data we will use this query select star from and in square bracket we will write the name of the X sheet of this uh, file uh, this workbook name of the worksheet is uh, sheet one so we have given sheet one and uh, there will be one dollar sign but uh, uh, let me show you for reading the uh, st uh, reading the data we are going to use this one select star from and this sheet name uh, but we give only uh, one uh, this dollar sign but uh, in automation anywhere we can't give only single dollar sign we have to use multiple dollar signs uh, for one dollar that is why i have given multi uh, two dollar sign 
अदरवाइज इन ऑल ई डी बी यूज ओनली वन सिंगल वन डॉलर साइन ओके आफ्टर दैट वी हैव दिस ऑप्शन टू मैक्सीमाइज नंबर ऑफ रिकॉर्ड्स टू फेच सो वी कैन लिमिट वी कैन अप्लाई अ लिमिट ऑन आवर सर्च रिजल्ट मीन्स वी नीड ओनली टू रिजल्ट और वन रिजल्ट और ऑल्सो वी कैन मॉडिफाई आवर क्वेरी एज वेल लाइक वी कैन गिव सेलेक्ट टॉप वन और टॉप समथिंग फ्रॉम दिस शीट एंड टाइम आउट सो इफ देर इज एनी इश्यू इन एक्सपेक्टिंग द डेटा यूजिंग दिस क्वेरी सो वी कैन सेट अ टाइम आउट मीन्स इफ द इफ दिस इज अनेबल टू एक्सपेक्ट द डेटा विद इन फाइव सेकेंड टेन सेकेंड वट एवर टाइम यू वॉन्ट टू गिव देन इट विल गिव अ एरर टाइम आउट एरर एंड आफ्टर दैट वी कैन एक्सपोर्ट द डेटा इन टू अ सी एस वी मीन्स इट विल इम्पोर्ट इट विल एक्सपेक्ट द डेटा एंड इट विल सेव द डेटा इन द सी एस वी फाइल एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सेव दिस यू कैन गिव द फाइल पार्ट एज फुल ओके and we can select the encoding and uh, all these features are available means export data with header and dot create file if data is not found means if there isn't any data then uh, no need to create a csv file so these two advanced options are there and also when saving we can override the data or append the data as well but we are not going to save our uh, data in the file we are going to use data in this uh, program as well uh, i mean in this task board as well so again we have given the same uh, session name uh, because we have connected to the database and we are using the same the uh, session and after extracting after reading the data we will uh, use a loop stage uh, sorry loop uh, action and uh, we are going to use this for each row in a sql query data set and uh, we are using default session again and uh, we have saved the file in the record data table sorry uh, in a record variable which is excel row okay so we are going to print the message okay and at the end we are going to disconnect from our default uh, database default session sorry so when we run the bot uh, we can see the uh, name of the records as i am uh, printing uh, excel row 0 means i am going to print the first uh, record sorry first uh, column of the record the value of the first column means here the first column is name column so it will print the name of the uh, employees okay here we go and we can see the first name as printed uh, and when we close this then we will get the next name so it will print all the names like this so this is how we can uh, like read the data from the excel file okay so we can uh, traverse over the data using this loop stage and uh, we can perform our operations means if you want to like uh for example if we want to check uh, if whether the age of the employee is greater than 20 or not and we want to perform some operations so we can get the age and uh, we can perform operations and uh, if we want to uh write the data into excel file so we will use this uh, database insert update and delete action of the database package so we will use this type of query let me show you we will use this insert query similarly we can apply another queries as well like update alter and all queries so we can use that insert into the name of the sheet like we use in the right uh, read query okay sheet 1 and here we will give the value na uh, name of the columns for example i want to print uh, i want to write name uh, uh, means i want to name i want to add one more data in the file so i will give uh, my query means insert into sheet 1 name comma role comma city comma h comma dop okay so i want to insert a new record or a new uh, new employee or the data of a new employee so i will give like this uh, and uh, here i will give the name of that employee for example a360 is the name then comma next one will be the role role let's say dev next is a uh, city city we can give new york Okay, then uh, we have to give all the values in single quotes. Uh, if it is a string value, 
and uh, number values we can give as it is uh, without single quote or we can add single quote on number values as well that is not a problem and age uh, we can give uh, 25 then the next DOP TOP will be we give to your base zero two two zero one three all right okay so our uh insert card is ready let me copy this and go back to the sq uh, go back to this task code and give the query and uh let me run the port so here we are just connecting the database then we are inserting the query uh, then we are using uh insert action uh, for inserting the data and the last in the last we are disconnecting from the data all right i have opened this sheet boat is running okay we have 20 records okay we have 20 records because in first row it is added so we have only 20 records Okay, it is uh, CC. It has added one new record. I think this row was blank. Uh, let me delete this. Uh, I think this row was blank. That is why it was unable to add uh, in that row. Okay, let me run the bot again and let uh, change the name. A B C, okay. Now run the vote again. So it will use the default uh, formatting. I mean, it will not use the formatting of the above rows. Similarly, we can update. Uh, we can use other queries as well, like update query and uh, alter table or something. If you want to modify something, we can use another queries as well. Uh, see, it has added the data successfully. A B C Dev New York 25 12 2, 2, 2, 2. So thanks for watching this video guys. This is how we can do read and write uh, in an Excel file using OLEDB. Okay, thank you so much guys for watching this video. Do let me know if you still have any doubt or any question. Bye-bye.